Welcome back to the channel, y'all. You already know another day, another mod. I'm gonna show you how I went from this to this. And if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Ro. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. I'm gonna make this mod look like it was so easy to do but for real it was the most challenging mod I've done this far and if you've been keeping up with me on my mod journey then you already know I learn as I go and this one was a little bit more challenging but I did it so as you can see I'm just removing the screws from the louvers to start out. Now I'm drilling a three inch hole into the back of the honeycomb that I just took out of the fairing. And because my process for this was a little mm, uh, questionable and I don't want y'all to judge me, this is all you're gonna see. Next up. Okay, so the three inch piece has been cut and now I'm just popping it out and removing it. So now I'm just doing a rough fit of the light to see how much I need to drill out to get it to fit and push through that hole. Time to pull out the Dremel. So now I'm just flushing that circle out and smoothing it out a little bit and making it slightly larger so that I can fit that light through. Dremeling was a success, so now you're gonna see me push the light through the honeycomb that I drilled the three inch hole into. And here's just a 360 view of how it looks once it is in there. Okay, so Dremel comes out again so that I can Dremel down the louver to fit the curve of the light. Now, I quickly found out, and as y'all can see, this was gonna take me forever. So, I decided to recruit some help and let him do all the work. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we worked together to get the um, louver cut out. So he let me borrow some of his shears, heavy duty shears to really get that out. And then we cut little pieces into it and then we used some pliers and kind of pulled the pieces out chunk by chunk. Took a lot less time than sitting there dremeling because y'all saw that was gonna take all day. So thanks again, Dad. Also, while doing this part of cutting the louver, we would fit the light into the louver to make sure that it was flush and that it was being cut down enough to fit the curve of the light. Once we got done cutting out the big chunks, I came home and dremeled out a little bit more, smoothed it out a little bit more. So here you're just seeing a rough dremel. Um, you can kind of see it fits the curve of the light. Had to cur you had to cut out quite a bit. So patience is a virtue. Basic rules of algebra, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I'm just measuring out another three inch circle on the other light so that I can Dremel that out and cut it out same as the first light. Moving on. All right, so both lights have been cut and fit into the honeycomb backing piece. So now I'm screwing everything back into my fairing and I'll be doing my wiring next. snippity snip these lights are made for a jeep so i cut that harness off because it's not gonna fit the bike and i am going to strip the wires so that i can put some connector ends on them because of the way i decided to wire these on the bike i ended up having to extend the power wire so just a simple solder and seal piece on there heat gun done standing on the left side of my bike i am attaching a wire connector to the black and yellow wire i'm going to use this wire for my ground and i honestly don't know what this whole shebang these two wires are meant for i'm thinking the auxiliary lights is that right let me know in the comments so on the right light obviously i didn't use the yellow wires because those are the turn signals and i didn't want another turn signal i already have one so i wired this one into the the black and yellow wire on this cord right here um i tried you can see that there's another tap right there i tried to wire it the power to that one but um it didn't work so i'm thinking that's maybe a turn i don't know same thing on the left side i wired the ground wire into that one there's not another tap because I learned my lesson on the other side. And then 
it is the power wires on both sides. To sum my wiring up without you having to hear me sniffling that entire time, the two blue taps that you see are coming from those lights that I just installed and they are connected to the power wire on the turn signal harness. Then the rest of those red taps that you see are coming from my LED turn signals that I installed a while ago and those are also connected on the same wires, power, ground, and turn signal. I also found some connectors that will plug into the stock connectors on the bike. So once I get those in, I'll be able to clean up all these taps and then it'll be a lot prettier. See what the final product looks like. Oh.